Welcome to the uh, second exercise in the lecture, Introduction to Modern Brain Computer Interface Design. In this exercise, we'll primarily look at ERP analysis. And again, uh, but this time it's not with MATLAB code that's written from scratch without any toolbox, but it's just replicating that kind of um, process using the BCI lab toolbox. So primarily, it amounts to replicating the things that I did in my demo. Basically, um, what you will just do is you will first and foremost go through exactly the kind of analysis process that we that I sort of narrated, and the second thing is um, you will go somewhat beyond that and create your own versions of this method. You know, your custom filters and so on, and actually vary this a little bit. So. Um, to start with that, the first thing to do is to start MATLAB and then to start BCI Lab Toolbox. And when you're going to the exercise package on the website uh, and extract this, you basically cd into the directory wherever you extracted this, slash exercise package slash BCI Lab course. That contains all the BCI Lab specific stuff. Semicolon and then um, BCI Lab to start the toolbox. If you have spaces in your path, by the way, uh, you probably have to do this a little bit differently. You know, you have to use an opening bracket, accent, accent, closing bracket. Uh, otherwise, the CD command will sort of fail. But you can also, of course, go into the path in any other way. So now, if you do this and you are getting any sort of warning, the number one reason why there's any problem with that is that you have files in your MATLAB path that sort of override other files and variables and so on in that come with PCI Lab. And so to deal with that, if you want to actually have a working exercise, you should try to reset your MATLAB path to the, quote, factory settings. You can do this temporarily by, um, well, first and foremost, you would want to restart MATLAB because you have you know, a half-loaded toolbox somewhere in there. You go to file slash set path, and there's something where you can say default. It's a button. And so you click on that and, and yes, and then you have the default path vanilla MATLAB. And then everything should work. You can save this for subsequent MATLAB users, but uh, make sure that you're able to restore whatever you had in your path before. So this exercise is two phases. The first phase is pretty much just to go through um, and do exactly the same kind of analysis that you did with pure MATLAB in BCI Lab. Just replicate exactly that with the same parameters. Windowed means um, certain kind. Um, certain kinds of time windows, uh, a certain classifier, and so on. And a phase two is to design uh, three to five PCI approaches that um, are variations of that. So um, you should use different machine learning methods for this, such as logistic regression or support vector machines or so, and some other filters that make sense, of course. Uh, so other filters to achieve the same effect, same kind of band pass, for example, and so on, or getting rid of artifacts, things like that. There is calibration data for this, which is in user data slash errors.set. So the layout is slightly different than in where I narrated it. And there's an associated test set called errors2.set, so training set test set. And uh, there are two, there's again two groups of markers, but the markers are called differently than what I had in my um, demo. There is one class which has just one marker. And that is S11. That's um, no errors. And there's two types of errors. And they're uh, indicated with markers S12 and S13. So you basically need to declare a group which includes both markers. So you need to use a grouping track again. Although you can basically run the same exercise also with the data that I had. It's just then there's um, less innovation, of course, and you will see the same plots that you already saw before. So um, phase one is is you know window means you know do cross validation etc. Uh, visualize it, apply it to the test set, see if you can run it online, which should be possible. And uh, if if anything goes wrong here, as I said already in my demo, the most likely reason is that you have a typo somewhere in a dialog. And the second most likely reason is that you didn't actually clear your MATLAB path. So if you fix these two things, it should basically work. Third. A possible reason is you have a very advanced MATLAB, like 2014B or so, which I haven't yet seen and uh, which doesn't work with that version of PCI. So phase two um, is using different filters, different classifiers. You should 
stick to the windowed means paradigm and just go all the way up to the online thing and the classification results and the plots. Um, there is, if you're already experienced with MATLAB or you know exactly what you're doing, you could try to actually get arrive at the best possible method or so for this. And um, maybe we can have a little bit of a uh, competition on that. <laughs> Phase two, there is a few tips on that. Um, so first and foremost, the help is really useful. Uh, so there's lots of documentation. And the documentation really says which methods are, are appropriate and applicable and so on. And there's a bunch of methods which are really slow, such as they run half a day or so. Um, and if you want to get through this relatively soon, you will probably want to avoid those. Some of these are uh, dipole fitting, sparse reconstruction, uh, vo volume selection implies dipole fitting, hierarchical kernel learning. Don't you know? Try to stay away from those. ICA um, at least Amica is also pretty slow. There is a faster. There's a bunch of faster ones included which you can run, but it'll take you more than an hour because there's cross validation and parameter search in there. So you calculate the same thing many times over. Doing it just once without cross validation is of course fine in many cases. Yeah, um, and also one thing, one more thing. So many of these methods. Um, work on some under some conditions, but not on others. So you know, this is s machine learning tools, right? They, um, they were not necessarily created for EG in the first place. So if something doesn't work, and you get errors or whatever, don't be discouraged by that. Um, just you know, go for other methods, or maybe try to figure out why something doesn't work. There's a lot of stuff, and there's, for practical purposes, infinitely many combinations of things that you can cobble together. And so consequently, there's lots of room for errors and things like that.